So I talked about ergonomics in terms of preventive, but the other thing that we can do in terms of preventive and rehabilitation is stretches, which I'm sure a lot of people know them, but here are some that I find useful. So this guy where your prayer and you go back and forth, that just helps a little bit. So the purpose of these stretches is predominantly to prevent or re rehabilitate from wrist, arm, elbow injury. Uh, I mean, so sure, they're general stretches. This is also good if you have a desk job and you want to awaken your body. So this, and then um, interlocked fingers. Also notice you can have both versions of interlocked. I think if you're trying to develop your uh, bilateral coordination, so this is my left one on top, but this is my right one on top. So you want to do it both ways. And then, and you'll notice one of them probably feels more awkward than the other. Uh, so coming toward yourself, and away from yourself, okay? And then rolling between them, coming up, and then rolling down. That can be really helpful. And then with each individual hand going all four ways. So coming out, front, uh, and then flipping it over toward yourself, in, then out, and there's no, like, I can't, I can't get my hand back there very easily, but if I rotate from, so it's in facing me, if I rotate out, I can get it a little bit there, but not all the way. Just like with this one, I can get it in, but not all the way. And I can get it in, but not all the way. Um, this one I find very helpful. You're on the fingertips and you push the arm up rather than pulling the hand down. And then make sure you go the other way, right? So you go back this way. And then doing it, remember to do both sides. Even if you have the injury only on one side, remember to do the other side. So uh, outside. And then front. And I can barely come in. And I can barely come toward my face. But the one toward your face, I feel like if you lift with the elbow, that can help. And then bend, flop the hand over, down. And, oh, also, uh, one thing about stretching that can be super useful is there's this technique called active release where, uh, so when you do a stretch and you go longer than about something between three and five seconds, the, the muscle is shaped, it's got a big part, and then it's got the attachment points. When you hold it for longer than three to five seconds, what it stretches is the thin part of the muscle when the issues are usually in the thick part of the muscle. So active release is a technique where you Stretch, two, release, stretch, two, release, stretch, two, release, stretch, two, release. So I'm doing this like little bouncing thing so that I'm getting the stretch across the full ligament, tendon, and or muscle, whichever it is that's being worked. So that's like a useful technique to know about. Um, and I can barely do this outside business over here. Um, okay, then also useful because, okay, we focused on the hyper issue here, but all of this can be referred pain from here so various things that I find helpful are these rotating your shoulders backward, forward for extra bonus points, one forward, or do it in split time, <laughs> or split time reverse. <laughs> um, then uh, circles, right? So circles like this, then reversing them, then uh, split time, Split time the other way. Also, these are good where you're, okay, you imagine there's a wall, but then you're backing up. So I'll just rotate so you can see it from all the sides, which like this one's good also, but I think that this one is, um, it has a slightly different sensation to me and it opens me up in this part of the muscle in a way I don't feel like this one does. Your mileage may vary. Basic Poilotti's drills for flowers to be super useful. Well, I think the forward flower is useful. So I think all four of these are useful. So this is the this is the forward flower, the reverse, and then both opposite directions are useful as well. And they just open you up. And then I, I want to repeat because it seems irrelevant, but I think it's very useful. There's especially men who have stronger upper bodies than women, and especially because poi is very upper body focused, really feel yourself up in your pecs and feel in like going in to this area over here 
is really useful also because you have lymph glands here so you can stimulate your immune system as well by exercising them and then getting in here and feeling any tightness that you have in there it's early so that's early phase and what leads to the rsi is when it's stiff and it doesn't get worked out these and then if you are really so um, a couple months ago, somebody was saying, I'm having this pain in my shoulder that I can't seem to get rid of. Uh, what would you recommend for stretches? So if you have the capacity, put your hands, oh, this, is, this chair is not going to hold me, there, and then come down lower to open it up. Okay, so I do massage the inside of the arm. That was what I showed with the ball, but I didn't show it with my fingers. So I do go down here for sure. I do do the ball all over, but that's also because I find that for me, if I do too much of this, it just causes pain here from trying to heal that. <laughs> so you want to be careful you don't injure yourself in the process of healing yourself, which is a thing.